Jigdem Nas joins me now from Istanbul. She's the Secretary General of Economic Development Foundation. Jigdem, good to have you with us. So uh, this report, um, by all accounts, praises Turkey for its cooperation on areas of migration and security, but it does criticize it over uh, issues like human rights and rule of law. What do you make of this report? Yes. Uh, of course, uh, some parts of the report are quite critical uh, about developments in Turkey. Uh, first of all, of course, um, as was expressed before, uh, the Commission expresses its uh, demand or request uh, for the state of emergency to be lifted as soon as possible. Uh, and uh, they also have a number of criticisms which are related with the uh, decrees that have been adopted during the state of emergency and the high number of dismissals of public servants and uh, other people who, are, who have uh, worked in the uh, public institutions uh, due to their links uh, with the um, FETÖ terrorist organization. Uh, and also, uh, of course, there have been uh, the word backsliding has been used, uh, especially with regard to freedom of expression, uh, rule of law, uh, the independence of the judiciary, uh, freedom of association, freedom of assembly, uh, and uh, maybe di differently from previous reports, uh, this uh, concept of backsliding that Turkey has not been progressing but re regressing have also now been used in economic uh, related uh, criteria, especially with regard to the business environment and also some of the chapters of the key like information society and social policy. So, uh, In fact, this, uh, it's being, analysts are saying that, that, that this marks the lowest point in Turkey's accession hopes mm -hmm. for the EU. How is Turkey likely to respond? Yes, uh, of course, we have had a number of critical reports uh, since a few years now. Uh, but I think what is important is that uh, the Commission also noted that Turkey is a candidate country and uh, that they support the negotiation process, of course, on condition that Turkey fulfills the uh, criteria and ends the state of emergency in the near future. Uh, so still um, there is this prospect of accession uh, in the near future. There was a question to, uh, for the Federica Mogherini, and she said that, of course, she considers Turkey part of Europe. So at least uh, this may give us some hope uh, for rebuilding the relations, although, of course, we are at a quite low point at the, uh, at the moment uh, due to uh, problems that cannot be envisaged before, especially security problems uh, in Turkey. Uh, but uh, from now on, uh, we can still make progress in the relations and uh, the EU reform process in Turkey uh, can be revitalized because there is also a need uh, for the revitalization of Turkey's harmonization with the EU, a key with the EU policies and standards since most of our trade okay. is with the EU market. Uh, we have to also give uh, more importance. Thank okay. you very much indeed for that. Uh, pleasure to speak with you, Jigdem Nas there.